friends welcome to my channel my name is Wolo I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel and I've seen my videos my channel is about sharing information on life in Canada and everything useful that's my usual intro so anyway today I'm doing a video on why do you want to come to Canada and this video is for people who have established themselves in their careers who are thriving very well in their finances and who have relatively a com very comfortable life back home uh, wherever you are, wherever your home is. If your career is fantastic, you're thriving in your, your finances are okay um, and you still have this desire to like uh, try or attempt the immigration to Canada, this video is for this category of people and also for people who are already 40 years or 45 years and above and i am doing this video for this group of people because sometimes you might have some form of doubt about this immigration thing so that's why um i am doing this video and um, the reason is this group of people when they come to canada they find that they find a lot of things very different um in, in canada you know you find that your expectations about canada does not meet the reality you know Back in your home country, you have these very huge expectations about Canada that when you land, you get a fantastic job in your career path, your children will be in a good school, your children will be able to compete with other people from the world and stuff like that. And for people who also have these financial reasons or have this idea that when you come to Canada, you have enough money in your pocket. Um, this video is for you to know the reality of things on ground. It's not a walk in the park. For some people, yes, they can get it, especially if they are very strategic in their move. But for some group of people, um, they fall into the category of people who regret moving to Canada. So I'm doing this video so that people do not regret this move because um, I've seen a lot of people who do keep saying that I regret if I had known I shouldn't have come, if I had known I should have stayed back. I had a very fantastic career. I was a bank manager. I was a manager this, I was this, and I was earning so, 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 so. But by the time I came to Canada, the whole story is a different ball game. So that's why I'm doing this video for this group of people so that they can be aware of what is on ground and the reason to have and to have a very strong very strong reason to want to immigrate to Canada you should have a very 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 strong reason because it's not really rosy at all Canada gives people an impression of paradise uh, for people who are struggling back home yes you can come to Canada for people who are really struggling very are struggling you can come but for people who are relatively comfortable and you you kind of you are dilly dallying with the thought of immigrating you should have a very strong reason especially if you've gotten to the peak of a career if you're comfortable financially if you don't um, see the things that is happening around you as a distraction like the insecurity the kidnapping if you don't see it as a distraction to you and maybe the lack of good medical infrastructure and if you know that you have the finances to sustain yourself if you fall ill if you have any terminal illness you can really take care of yourself then you don't really need to come stress yourself but if you don't fall into this category of people um, if you're struggling you can come but for this category of people who are comfortable on every level when I mean comfortable, extremely comfortable on every level, but you still have the thought of immigrating because of your children, you should also have a very strong why. You should have a very strong reason and a very strong why because um, in Canada, a lot of immigrants might likely, might likely, I'm using the word likely because not everybody experiences it, might likely experience systemic racism, might likely, or not likely, might most times also experience um, rejections when applying for a job will face stiff competition in the workplace and will also experience what you call microaggression. There are a lot of things most immigrants will face and it is your strong reason that will make you persevere. It's your strong reason that will make you not regret your move. It's your strong reason, the why, the reason why you decided to up yourself and leave from your home country. If you decided that you're leaving from your home country because you wanted to give your children a better life in Canada, you hold on to that so that that will keep you going and then you keep pushing ahead. If you are immigrating to Canada because, um, because of insecurity in your home country, then you need to hold on to that why when you're facing all these things so that you don't get discouraged. If you are immigrating because you feel Canada is going to give you an opportunity to succeed, 
to thrive to um, be in your career and to excel then you need to hold on to that when you start facing any form of systemic racism or any form of um, job rejections uh, when you start facing all these things you need to hold on to these reasons because sometimes uh, these are the reasons that just keep giving you hope and telling yourself that it's for a little while you experience these things for a little while and after a short while um, you will you you will no longer be experiencing all these things and you will now start um, you now start excelling why I'm doing this video is because I see a lot of immigrants who come and at the end of the day they start feeling a lot of regrets you know complaining about the system if I had known I should have stayed if I had known I should have especially people who have this uh, big expectation of making so much money when they get to Canada and then realize that they have to still pay to start paying a lot of lots and lots of bills and then they, they start asking themselves when I was back in my home country I was making double of this amount and I wasn't paying so much bills but now I'm in Canada I am paying so much bills and I don't have any money in my pocket you know so these are the things I, I, I put out so that people can be aware you need to have a very strong reason you need to hold on to if you are in the process of immigrating you need to have a very strong why that why should be your motivating factor it should be what you can hold on to it should be an, an anchor for you when uh, things are not going the way you plan you know I will give an example a lot of people come and they plan to you know just quickly get a job in their career path let's say someone who was a medical doctor I'll give this is a very typical example that happens a medical doctor back in your home country and you come to Canada you know that you're going to write exams um, before you get your qualification license and before you start practicing you're all prepared you tell yourself yes when I come I'll write the exams I make sure I write the exams you give yourself a very time a time limit a time frame to pass your exams and then try to get into residency before you start practicing but then you come and then you, ex you start experiencing a lot of things even if you have passed your exams you now find yourself to you now find yourself struggling to get residency and you, before you know it five years is counting six years is counting seven years is counting ten years is counting and you've not even you've not even gotten into your your medical field that you planned on getting into when you left your home country and then you start feeling regret of even having to make the move in the first place the Canadian system is designed to test people's resilience, especially resilience of new immigrants. You know, when you're leaving your comfort zone to a place where you have to start life all over again, it will test your resilience. How, how resilient can you be in the face of so many systemic um, issues, so many obstacles along the way it will to achieving your dreams, achieving your purpose? It will test that resilience and a lot of people um, fall by the wayside and start feeling regret, start feeling angry about the system, start feeling a lot of um, annoyance and anger to, as to why they even made that decision of coming to Canada in the first place. The, when you're facing such situations, you need to ask yourself, uh, you need to hold on to your why. It's your why that will make you keep pushing. It's your why that will make you look at the very big picture. It will, it's your why that will make you um, not settle, you know. Another example is people coming and picking up just any job. And it's quite risky picking up just any job because you might get stuck in it. And I see a lot of people who get stuck in that any job. At the end of the day, the experience you're getting from that any job cannot be translated to where you want to go to. And then you now start going back to school and then you, even when you get your degree and you get out of school, you're still faced with the issue of applying for jobs and getting a job in the line that you studied. So these are the challenges a lot of people face. And that's why I said people should have any plan, anybody planning to come to Canada should have a strong reason, a strong why, a strong statement of purpose that you will hold on to and a vision that you that is unwavering a vision that is unwavering so that when you face these challenges you will not regret you will not think of your where you're coming from you will not think of how you used to be a big man you know a lot of people were we a lot of people were managers a lot of people were top flyers holding managerial positions in their home country before immigrating and then they come to Canada they find themselves working with people who are just high school diplomas people who, who don't even have a university degree or a college certificate 
you know and then you 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 are working if if you're about above 40 or 50 years and above you find somebody who is 20 years who is your manager and asking you to do one or two things and then you start um asking yourself if i had known when i was back in my home country i was controlling a department and 20 or 30 people were under me now i'm in canada one 20 years old person who just has a high school diploma is even the one controlling me so these are the things you need to um you know start preparing your mindset it's a whole preparation altogether you need to prepare your mindset very well before you even make the move and have backup plans the backup plans is backup plan in your career you should have a backup plan in your career that in the event that you don't end up in the career path that you desire are there other career paths that you can end up in and you will still be happy and satisfied or you will start feeling remorseful and feeling regret if you don't have backup plans you will feel regret and you will start asking yourself why did you immigrate in the first place but if you have backup plans you will not feel any regret at all so these are the reasons why i am doing this video and i hope you've learned something beneficial thank you so much for watching and have a good day bye bye